Greetings, Keechlings. Keech Prime here with my live reaction of One Piece, Chapter 1085. Alright, are we getting a follow-up on Eam and everything? Because good lord, getting some, you know, 800-year-old lore is always a good thing. Let's see here, the death of Nefertari Cobra. Okay, we've got uh, our art request, it looks like. A crab was attacking some sea turtles, and Frankie saved them, and he has a departure sign. Cute, but... That's not why we're here. Let's see here. The impossible overlord. There's no way someone should be allowed to sit there. The world shouldn't move to one single individual's will. There are things that Moo wants... Uh, Moo? That wants to discuss with you. And there's one thing Moo wants to ask you, Cobra. Oh, Lord, what, what's, uh, what's Emu wanting? Or just Eam. I don't know. Now it's just Moo, so who knows? Cough, cough. Who, who the hell are you? Cough. I, I recognize the name Emu. And I'm certain it... See, now they're saying Emu. <clears throat> and I'm certain it's not a mere coincidence. Within the first 20 kings, there was... Don't pry. This is unanswerable. Wait. He was one of the original kings? However, what you wish to know will be revealed. The D refers to those who once opposed in the days long agone. The D. I swear to fucking God if it's Dragon Slayer, then I've been saying this shit for years. The D that has emerged in various incidents in recent years are nothing more than hollow shells who fail to understand the meaning of their own names. However, this is all because of Queen... Oh, now they're calling her Lily. So, hmm, the Amazon Lily thing is kind of becoming more there. This is all because of Queen Lily's great blunder from 800 years ago. Blunder? From the so-called scholars who had been studying the Void Century. Wait. What? <laughs> to the pirates in search of the Poneglyphs, hoping to find treasure, if it wasn't for Lily's mistake that day... Those damn relics known as the Poneglyphs wouldn't have scattered across the world. Wait, what? In the wake of this past, there is one absolute worst-case scenario. The release of the Poneglyphs. Was it truly a mistake, or was it all planned out? Wait, why are they... Oh, God, they're drawing... So, he got shot by the Gorosei. That answer must lie in Lily's letter that arrived in Alabasta. Just a while ago, Queen Lily of the Nefertari family is what you mentioned, right? Why? Why don't you state the name of the sender of the letter left by the Queen? It's over for me. I can no longer leave this room alive. If I were to fabricate a lie, would I be able to escape? The moment you saw the appearance of Great Emu. Your fate was sealed. <laughs> I guess that's a given. This is the world's greatest taboo. Oh, I need to zoom in some more. What's with this situation? It's too strange. So Sabo got to see it all. Or some of it anyway. It's just as written. The name of the empress who led Alabasta's kingdom 800 years ago. Her name is Nefertari. D. Lily. D. D's nuts. Anyway, but, um. Wait. Eames' eyes did something. Or he just kind of went wide eye. So, wait, what's going on here? Why is there just this shadowy arrow coming out? Fire Fist! Okay. Rook's Gambit! So, okay, you're attacking on Cobra's behalf. Alright, Sapo. But I'm not exactly sure what the Rook's Gambit is. Where did you come from? What the hell are all these things? If possible, I was really hoping to get everyone with that one attack. To think that the top of the world would be this hellish looking. Wait, are those the... Maybe the, uh... The Holy Knights? Probably not. What else are they? I think, uh, let's see here. So he, there's, 
Um, Cobra dying on the ground. Transponder Snail just did something. Huff, you're Luffy's older brother, aren't you? You're part of the Revolution Army, yet you're helping me? Our enemies aren't the kings, but the ones above them. How do you know Luffy? He is someone whom I am greatly indebted to. <laughs> Sounds just like him. What are these creatures? You can escape if you go alone. It's too late for me. Leave me. I'll save you. So you wanted to save him. I finally figured it out. I can't have you dying here. I need you to tell Luffy and Vivi something. To Luffy and Princess Vivi, we too are D. Hmm. Finally, I've seen the path Alabasta must walk on. It is a coincidence. You both have D's in your names? Ah, oh, really? I don't care about my name. Let's put a D in your name too. What? Sadibo. <laughs> He's Sadbo. Um, why'd you put it in like that? You could have been Sabo D or Disabo. What are these shadowy creatures? The fuck is going on? And there, Cobra just got stabbed. Also, apparently got Sabo as well because he's bleeding out the mouth. King Cobra! Protect the Poneglyphs. Garo ro ro ro. Hmm. Hoist the flag of the damned for the world. Nefertari D. Lily. I'm counting on you, Sabo. Okay, what the fuck is happening? Let's see here. King Cobra! Survive at all costs. Hmm, who's there? The, they killed him. Wait, who's this now? Oh, shit. That's how he got involved. Okay. That's now making more sense. Frickin' Wample. That Cobra was killed just like that. It's true I hated him, but I am not stopped that low. Or I'm not... But I am not stooped that low to be happy about this. I just wish... It, I just witnessed something out of this world. I've seen the darkness of the world government. I didn't need to know that. Who was that? Who was that guy? My life is finished. In the round table in the meeting room. King Cobra and King Wampa are yet to arrive. I have just received word that we can proceed in spite of their absence. Alrighty. Did Cobra's fervent speech from earlier make him pass out? Wahahaha. <laughs> Assholes. He must be very pleased with the disbandment of the Seven Warlords. Let's settle the remaining issues. Hmm. There are two friendly kings are just kind of questioning all of this now about the independence issue from the four countries alliance in the north okay so now we're back with uh the mermaid or what would we call them the rio q siblings um let's see here shirahoshi the meeting will be over soon let's wait in the red port where they're where those foul or full uh, celestial dragons won't be around. What's the matter? I just don't want to. I just want to have a few more words with Princess Vivi. I wonder where she went. What are you going to do with me? Untie me so she's been kidnapped. What's or who's ordering you? Guest room inside Pangaea Castle. I'll tell the whole world about what happened here. So, Jabra. Really? Hey, hey, you're quite the honest one, ain't you? To think you'd just let you escape with those words you just said. What a headstrong woman. So, Khalifa and Jabra. It hasn't been translated like their positions or anything, so I'm just assuming they're probably still in... Well, actually, considering they're in white outfits, I assume they're in uh, I Jazeera. I think no one's coming to save you, Princess. <laughs> princess is about to be in another castle. Uh, they'll most likely write you off as a missing person. And just like that, you'll probably be someone's pet. Shirahoshi's safe? 
you're worried about others such an even in such a situation i heard there's another incident that occurred just now well by the looks of it she's safe that's a relief so we're talking about last chapter but you know what a celestial dragon died those rascals that be beat the celestial dragon were trying to capture the mermaid princess you're were the underlings of the straw hat, or of straw hat luffy proudly proclaimed their victory it's making quite the ruckus now in the plaza Fujitora, who let the sla let the slaves freed by the revolutionary army escape, pissed off uh, Rio Q or R God Greenbull. I can't ever say his name right. And both got into a fight. Oh, this year's referee is really crazy. Okay, so they're just they just fought. All right, I need to do something. Me being someone's pet. No, thank you. She looks at a wall and Wample comes in. Okay, so this is how he's implicated. He's going to go save Vivi. Please save me. I didn't see anything. Oh, God, he's an idiot. I mean, is, was there no doubt? Wample, move it. That's it. Clear the way. Like hell, I would let them catch me. Hey, wait. Vivi's missing. What? Darling, I've been looking for you. Where have you been? So it's his wife. Who's that young woman with you? Hey, Wample, how far are you going? As far as I can, to the end of the world where no one will, uh, will come chasing me. I'm going to. Take me with you. Are they eloping? <laughs> the life on the run begins. Okay, so that's how that happens. Okay. Still don't get what these shadowy creatures are. So Sabo did try to save Cobra. Okay, that 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 checks out. I mean, and the fact that he does like that they're indebted to Luffy and everything, that was a nice notion. Um, and just a, a lovely moment. As for just about everything, good lord, this chapter just went all over the place. We got to see how Cobra died. We got to see, like, these shadowy enforcers. Well, actually, how many of them are there? Um, because I'm starting to wonder. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. What if those are the Gorosei? I wouldn't think so, but, hmm. Now I have to consult back. If those are actually the Gorosei, what kind of powers do they have? What is causing all of this? Or is this Eam bringing their darkness to light or something? <clears throat> I mean, we saw them just briefly. Like, okay, the last time we see them is during the Fire Fist in Rook's Gambit. Or is that Eames attack. I'm not really sure. It's done in the same font, I believe, as Fire Fist, so... Hmm. But then almost immediately, the last time we see them is uh, the one that everyone thought was like Sanji's grandfather or whatever. He's the last one we see before these creatures show up. So, it's possible that these are the Gorosei because we don't seem to see them at any other point until they're gone and even then we don't see them again so and the numbers match up so it's very likely that yeah Eam has some kind of power that turned them into these monstrosities or they just have some weird similar devil fruit or maybe they all have zone fruits and they're being left in silhouettes for a reason? Because, I mean, most of them look like animals of some kind. Like, there's, like, a boar kind of looking thing or something. There's uh, some kind of cow. There's maybe a monkey is the thing that's climbing on the ground or on the wall. There's a bird. Now, I can't make out what the final one is it looks mostly human so that could be a few different things so maybe they're like 
awaken zones protecting their liege but that doesn't explain the uh, the shadowy attacks that they have so I, I don't have a clue <clears throat> but yeah and then Vivi's getting kidnapped by you know CP9 or CP0 I guess is what they are now um we don't get a full resolution to what happened to Charlos, so I don't know if he's really dead or not. They they seem like he might be dead. They don't really confirm it either way. But all the slaves getting freed, like, that led to another admiral fight. We haven't had one of those in, like, fucking 15 years. So, um... <laughs> it's kind of awesome um yeah so that 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 happened Wample seeing all this shit has made him start freaking out and now we're I guess next chapter gonna find out exactly how they got in connections with uh Morgans so yeah there there's a lot to digest in this chapter because of how random it all was for certain parts of it so i don't have a clue what to say anymore so let me know your own thoughts and opinions anything i miss misunderstood please let me know down below check out my other content see what you like suggest things for the future Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content, including One Punch Man, which will be out after this. Um, links down below for all my social media, uh, such as, uh, like I stream on Twitch, I do gaming, i part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, later days. Until next time, Keishlings. Good lord, so much shit.